Yo, what up? It's your boy with JJ Stone, aka Black Gritty, BlackGritty.com. Uh, and I'm here with my homie. What up? It's your boy Jay Ferg. Guess what? What? I just got us some good tickets to the AFC Championship game in Atlanta. Well, good deal on those tickets, boy. Well, I mean, I thought you got the refund because Burrow told you to get the refund. No, I just, I just bought them oh. so we could go. So you got scammed. Oh. Pretty much. Is oh, what man. To you. It's okay. Oh, I'm sure it happened to a lot of people. Happens all the time. All the time. <laughs> but before we get to talking about uh, the playoff football this week, we're going to talk about the biggest battle of the weekend. You know what it is? I give you one guess. The biggest battle of the weekend. Biggest battle of the weekend. No, I don't know. Come on, baby. Oh no, you caught me off guard. Oh, <laughs> oh, Uncle. Uncle Sean. I forgot. It, that seems like it was a week ago. So oh, much that, happened. So over the weekend. <laughs> uh, we were, <laughs> Unc so, and Dylan Brooks. <laughs> yeah. So first of all, I mean, everybody's already seen it, so I'm not going to play those. But just go and just search the hashtag for like some of the best memes in America <laughs> <laughs> right now. I mean, a lot of them are stolen. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like <laughs> Uncle Wishing Mother Wood and stuff like that. And so if you don't know, Shannon Sharp is a huge LeBron James fan. And now he's going to the games. He went out there. Players be talking trash. Shannon talks trash because he's defending his homie, his buddy, his son, his nephew, whatever. He <laughs> loves LeBron James. LeBron James loves him. They're best friends. They're they, buddies. They were all trash talking. LeBron uh, was trash talking. Yeah. Memphis talks a lot of trash. Memphis talks a lot of trash. A little and, too much. And last year they were talking trash and LeBron was tired of it. And then he went and dunked on the whole team like yep. four times in a row. <laughs> he was like, look, stop it. Or I'll do do what I need to do. Like so, mm -hmm. But this year, you know, <laughs> and, and – Ja's dad always shows up at all the big games. They were on a 13 game winning streak. So Shannon Sharp went off and and got got busy in the crowd. And <laughs> you know what I mean? So it just got out of hand when it was Shannon versus everybody. Like he was going at Ja. Uh Adams came over and everybody was like, oh, he didn't go at Adams. And like, well, first of all, he didn't really go at anybody. He was talking trash, people were holding him back. Right. It's it was it, never gonna be nothing. No, it's the crypto oh god, god I hate calling it that staple center, <laughs> crypto.com center. And you know, nothing was gonna go down. No. But I mean Shannon Sharp was not playing no games with the look on his face, which brings back all the memes. <laughs> the one thing I have a problem with, oh, by the way, the reason I'm not showing it is because I don't like to promote black on black crime. <laughs> so you want to find the actual <laughs> skirmish, you can go look it up yourself. I'm just looking at all these jokes. Um but <laughs> my, my you the the one thing I'm mad about Shannon Sharp is you sit there and take all this shit from Skip every Skip. day. Skip. And, <laughs> and you become composed. And you know what I mean? Like people are just telling you like, you know, because you keep a cool head. And he's always been a roasting, talking trash kind of dude. Even as a player, Shannon Sharp would get in your ass. Like he would get in your mindset. Yes. So for him to be able to just turn the other cheek when it comes to skip all the time and then lose it on the sidelines like this. I'm like, come on, Shannon. Think he had a couple drinks flowing? I mean, uh, I, he was vibating right now. I mean, Club <laughs> Shay Shay do be open. He do <laughs> he do support Club Shay Shay. That gets so, the flame going a little faster. Yeah, so... <laughs> the body God, is just, It's so good to me. It's so good. J.J. Reddick had the best response to it. What did he say? He was like, hold up. Where did he get that cardigan from? Because that is fire. Oh, yeah. And the, the cardigan was trending. It's like $3,000. Oh, yeah. His, his stylist was there. So there's a whole thing about the stylist and, and the outfit. Like, if I scroll down. like If I had one, I, I would have brought that, too. But I don't. I can't afford that. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's just, just. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So shout out to the stylist. And, and then uh, Shannon Sharp did come. And apologize, and he gave a lengthy, as you probably have heard or apology. seen, Friday night um, at oh, the Lakers game. Too. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to always, apologize always for clean. my behavior. Um, you know, guys, I've preached for the last six and a half years responsibility and accountability, and I take full responsibility for what transpired. It does not matter what Dylan Brooks said or how many times he said it. Me being the responsible person, me having the platform that I have. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's yeah, like four minutes. Us. But I will <laughs> say this: he did go into the. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, the hallway and I was like they can get it they don't want it they know they don't want it because if they want the smoke they're going to get the smoke I'll slap everyone up in this bitch I don't care who it is like he told that to a reporter like he literally gave them a three paragraph I will fuck everybody up if they want some <laughs> three piece meal combo set as an interview <laughs> after the thing and at the end of you know Josh's dad comes over they dab it up they hug it and stuff like that because again they're all grown men and it's not a good look Right. Again, that's why I'm not showing this. It's just not a good look. Once you calm down, you're like, that was yeah. so dumb. But he comes and gives a full-on apology to the yeah. organization, to the players, to everybody. Like, Skip Bayless could learn something from that. And he apologized to his bosses, to the network. To, I mean, a full adult 
response and apology. So that was the biggest fight and skirmish of the weekend. <laughs> but, you don't want to get suspended. You got to do that. Apology. Oh, I mean, but say you don't want to lose the Lakers seats either. Yeah, well, again, <laughs> skip, skip, skip be doing what he be doing, mm -hmm. just being disrespectful. And Shannon puts up with I don't know how he puts up. If he wants to smack somebody in the face, that's what he needs to be smacking in the oh, face. Man, he would smack him. In the next week, that would be so oh, bad. Yeah. It would oh, be a murder. But, so I hate this guy because he's a cornball, but this was funny because I remember this clip so much. Because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it. But you could call me the can man because anybody can get it. <laughs> Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, uh, anybody, had a anybody can good. get yeah. it. <laughs> he's always good at trash talking. That's the one you're fighting, buddy. He's yeah. classic for trash talking. <laughs> you got to be good at something. Oh, I mean, Lord knows. I mean, he's a good fighter. Too. He fuck us both up, so I don't even know why we talking shit. That doesn't, so. count. <laughs> that doesn't count. I mean... <laughs> I mean, he's a regular citizen now. I might catch him at an airport on a on a United flight. I don't want you know what I mean. Some random just coming up and googling me like, "Ain't you that fat boy that was talking that stuff?" Like, I'm, anybody can can. You see what I'm saying? That used to be like you like, man, this guy is little. I'm gonna beat his uh, ass. I was like, you like, no, he can box. And yeah, he does. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jerry, like, he hit me. Look at Shannon. <laughs> Somebody put Jerry. Jones. That's Jerry looking at the kicker. Yeah, that's Jerry looking at Dak Prescott. Okay, so let's uh let's get into. The football side of things. Um, you want to go first? We are going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs. The game I, I least cared about. Yeah, the first game of the weekend, yeah. Saturday yeah. afternoon. So I would just say this. For the Chris Simmons, Chris Sims, who can't, Sims. Sims, who was a trash quarterback and is most known for being roasted by John Gruden because he couldn't remember the call of a play or most, call of most plays. His daddy got him his job. His daddy so got him his job. And so he's just a trash panda. So he says that um, Jalen Hurts, anybody could do his job, and that our backup quarterback would be the same as Jalen Hurts. Our backup quarterback gets in, doesn't look the same as Jalen Hurts. Nope. Then he doubles down and tries to say Daniel Jones is the same as Jalen Hurts. Now, I will tell you this. When you talk about Jalen Hurts, and everybody's tried to say Jalen Hurts is a system quarterback, and we all know everyone's in the system and everyone's a system quarterback. Right. That, that's but, what the NFL is. <laughs> if I have to hear one more time about the reason that, that Mahomes, and I love Je Mahomes is the truth. I, Mahomes is the truth. Mahomes is the of truth. Course. Shut up. I don't want to hear anybody tell me. But as much as time like, he doesn't have Tyree Kill anymore, and he's got to do it all on his own, and he has no weapons, and he can't do it. Okay, he goes out for a quarter, insert Henny, 98-yard drive touchdown. Right, they just ran the ball up the field. Against the Jags, who right. <laughs> who Pat was struggling to score against. I mean, he scored, but you know what I'm saying? Like, he was mm -hmm. working. So, insert Henny into that system. They forget that Andy Reid is one of the greatest offensive minds in the NFL history. Absolutely. History. So, plug and play that. Henny going out there doing it, but he ain't got no weapons. The, you didn't hear that at all, right? No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. So, But Henny got to, uh, Henny, apparently he's got weapons because Henny used those weapons to walk down the field 98 yards and get a touchdown. Of Travis course, Kelsey with 14 <laughs> catches. Oh, my God. Travis Kelsey. The Kelsey. No uh, weapons, right? Man, the, the DNA and the Kelsey boy. I, I know neither one. I'm, they both need to start pumping out more kids because they got, <laughs> they got the genes. They got that flow. Um, so <laughs> the Kelsey brothers need to get it done. So this game, you know, um, against the Jags. Jags tried to make it close late. The Jags tried to make it and close late. fumbled on the five-yard line for not, no reason. And not only that, uh, Trevor Lawrence has lost for the first time. On Saturday. On Saturday. Very upsetting to me and to everyone else who bet. I mean, one guy bet his whole paycheck. It was a struggle. That's tough. And it is tough. And uh, <laughs> the biggest problem is the uh, – Patrick Mahomes is hurt. Yeah, that would look like a, they said it's a high ankle sprain, and those usually take a long time to heal. And you know he's playing this week coming up. Yeah, I mean, there's it's no not doubt. Even in question. He, they're going to lose this game. What do you think? They can't. They haven't beat the Bengals the last two times they played. The they, Bengals just roll through the top teams in the AFC. They do. They do. And so that's that. I mean, again, t close game with the Jags. Nice. Uh, Dougie P is turning the team around from worst to first. Yep, they get Calvin Ridley back next year. Man. Uh, do you hear the conversation of Nick Sirianni is a better coach than Doug Peterson? Uh, we talked about that. He is not a better coach yet. Yeah, and so he's got work to do. Yeah, so and we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, now, just to talk about them again, just the the Bengals, the Bengals. Wait, wait, they had time to do oh, snow, snow angels. Angel time. Oh man, for Cincinnati against the Buffalo Bills. That game got case. ugly in a hurry. Yeah, uh, so if you're a Bills time. fan, you might as well log out, y'all. <laughs> Josh Allen is now James Harden. Oh, pff, 
Oh, I mean, I don't even want to go James Harden yet. I, I can't. He's got a couple more losses to put on his resume before he gets to James Harden. God damn, you went. That was a deep cut, bro. Just Getting close. Yeah, oh, holy Jesus. I was just trying to knock him down out of the top four. You know what I mean? Like, because at the beginning of the year, you know, the Bills were the favorite. Josh Allen was Josh Allen. Guess what? He misses uh, ball-headed D-ball who kept him from throwing interceptions. He needs someone in his butt and in his ear to make him stop doing it. They also need to help him with a running game. I do fully understand that. But he threw too many picks. He doesn't trust his teammates when things get hard. They have one good receiver. It's crazy if you really look at that offense. Like, Gabe Davis is mediocre. Gabe, okay, so Gabe Davis is mediocre until they're putting up 40 points a game he's and he's mediocre. scoring three to— He's only a deep ball guy. I, I, again, I don't care when you when they put up the points that they put I up. I get it. I know they, what you're put, they score 40 against everybody all year long, and now all of a sudden he doesn't have weapons. I'm like, bro, d- Knox. Right. Like, they, tell me they don't have a running game. Don't tell me they don't have weapons. I don't think they have very good weapons outside of Diggs. Knox is good. I don't think Gabe Davis is good at all. He's inconsistent as all hell. And I'll that's all season long. I say he's inconsistent, but then I got to look at the quarterback. Is my, my quarterback throwing too many interceptions? I mean, Absolutely. are, well, are, are they, are they the routes? Are they, I mean, I don't know. So, I, I mean, he's got weapons. They need a better running game. That's If I'm they, the Bills in the draft this year, I break the Cardinal rule and I draft a running back in the first round. Well, and I take B. John Robinson out of Texas. Well, everybody wants B. John Robinson know, out of Texas. I know, but he so. should fall down the ground where the Bills pick. He should not because everybody wants him. I, yeah, I've heard fall, five different people say that their team needs to draft him. So so everybody the wants Cowboys him. need to draft him because they're not going to have a running back next year. <laughs> uh, anyway. Why? Is he going to play center? <laughs> my God. <laughs> so the Buffalo Bills lean too much on him for the running game, and so they don't develop running. And so the offensive line Correct. is used to him just taking off and leaving. Yes, they and having, have a power run game at yes, all. Yes, and, and they don't plan for it like the Eagles do. They don't build it in. It's just a, oh, I'm Josh Allen. I freak out. I'm going to run. He literally got scared. It's your home field advantage. It's your home field weather. And I don't know. Burrow is out there being Burrow. And we you, we played the video. I don't even know if it's in this clip. It might be an NFL clip. It it made me made me sick. What that highlight that they cut too soon? Yeah. yeah. So hold on. We talked about it yesterday. Just that chip on your shoulder. Everyone talking about a neutral AFC Championship game. Not even thinking about you guys. How much did that motivate you coming into this? You better send those refunds. <laughs> <laughs> those are my favorite things, by the way. Yeah. Like so. Them selling those tickets for that game is because logistically they had to have those tickets sold yes. already. It's not yes. a disrespect to the Bengals. I mean, it's it, just a logistical thing that has to happen. But it's still, I can still take it as disrespect. Absolutely. So but the I, funny thing is, needing disrespect to get up for a playoff game. I mean, you, you if you're you you take everything. I know everybody it just takes always everything. Me up. Like when the Eagles played the Patriots in the Super Bowl, and Belichick was like, "They're already planning their parade." Yeah, You're like well, yeah, because you you have you, you to. Have it to. has to be planned already. That's so, just how that works. Uh, like where, where that type of stuff that? has always made me laugh. That's all. Yeah, let me. Um, that one, the fr- where Chase has his hands in front of his face, is the clip that has it. Is it? Yep. This one, top left. There, that one. <laughs> Everybody gritty, and they need a new dance for next year. <laughs> Chase and Jefferson, bro. Okay, here it is. This has been clipped, just this part everywhere, CV NFL. Yep. I don't give a shit about that clip because I want to see the catch at the end. Right. <laughs> Why did you cut it and I don't see the catch at the end? You know how smooth that is and I don't get to see right. he the catch threw, at the end? He could have threw that shit to the sideline. Oh, my just God. Like, yeah. it look cool I, I, still, I, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what happened. Did he catch it? Did he not? Right. I mean, it's cool that a guy in the snows to the spin move and threw a ball. I, yes, it's cool. It'd be dope if he if i see the catch that's all i need to see and it's at a point where i can see just let me get to the catch right and if he, he hits that guy in stride and he and he probably didn't catch it did. that's why they clipped it probably, he, probably he, dropped he, it right? yeah he dropped that ball so Ruined the damn highlight yeah yeah definitely definitely <laughs> so you know um, so do we got to redo our quarterback rankings from last week oh uh, yeah i think I mean, we do daniel jones is on top but, uh, <laughs> yeah. we'll get there i'll take second. him chad honey yep like, <laughs> all day so the, Did you hear um, Nick Wright's QB rankings today? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, God. <laughs> so anyway, let's just wrapping this up. At home, in heavy snow, you didn't just lose. You got destroyed. From the first drive of the game, the Bengals went right down, scored yeah. easy. Yeah. And it went down. Punt, and it went down and scored, scored again. Scored again. Easy. And the game was over. It and was. then on top of that, Diggs is out there yelling at um, Allen on the sidelines. 
Again, they're thick as thieves, and oh, when they come back down 20 mm-hmm. and come back and score, oh, they're, we're on the same place, same mind, same brotherhood, and now you're out here doing the fucking MJ. he left MJ. the locker room early? Yeah, he left the locker room early. What do you think about speech. that? I think that's the weakest stuff in sports. When you get to sit there and talk the trash that you talk, because they've come back on people and they've mollywop people. That's right. And they get there and they talk about how, oh, we're so in sync and we're one for all and all for one. We play for each other. And then with the whole number three thing and the family and the love. Yeah, and all that kind of way. Stuff, real quick, didn't it? Real quick, bro. Like, yeah, you know I mean, like, I mean, I, now I just. Now all of a sudden, how long am I supposed to stay here and lose? Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, guess what? A lot of people feel like that. Yeah. A lot of people feel like that. <laughs> Again. Uh, uh, I you, thought that was really weak. And I know receivers are different kind of guys like that. But, man, he came off really yeah. as not a team guy to me. Yeah. And at the same time. And, and that's not the first time he's done it. We I forget know. that he did he that. He did it in Minnesota. With, with Minnesota. So it's just who he is and it's who he's built to be. That's not a winner. Uh, not a winner at all. So Bengals, Kansas City, before we move on to the other two games. I got the Bengals. That one seems so easy to pick the Bengals that it makes me hesitate. If Patrick Mahomes didn't have a high ankle sprain, yeah. I would fully agree with you. Like, I'd give it a toss-up, and I'd say home field advantage, right. and Patrick's going to be juiced up and have a hard-on to fucking get back to the Super Bowl, <laughs> and Andy Reid's got tricks up his sleeve and all that kind of stuff. But this dude will not be able to move from this pocket. And not for nothing, as much as I hate hearing it, like, let me go, do I even have it up to... Let me go see Can't where you the, just hear Romo talking about how gutty Mahomes is. Uh, or maybe oh it'll be Collingsworth, which is even worse. That's not it. That ain't it. That's not it. What are we looking for? Here comes Mahomes. Uh, it's, it's, there was one where Tony <laughs> Romo just said the Tony Romo things. Interception for Jalen Watson. So. Oh, it wasn't in this one because yeah, he's talking about Collingsworth. Yeah, it was Collinsworth. Uh, so, um... It, it's just like, oh, when he's doing Mahomes things, and he's, <laughs> I'm like, okay. Facing pressure, goes over the top, wide open, is chased. Like, how could he be that wide open? The and the touchdown. defense, I, I don't know, you know more about the Bills than me. They had injuries and such, right? But Yeah, I mean, they lost a bunch of safeties. And then later on in the game, White and uh, Poyer collided, and one of them didn't come back. I okay. don't remember who. That game got ugly to quick, though. I mean, everybody open. seemed wide open First for these touchdowns. So... But they, <laughs> I think it's crazy to have McDermott and Leslie Frazier, who they're supposed to be secondary guys, basically. And yeah, end up with that type of blown coverage. It it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. I was and wondering if the Bills were gonna do the uh, somebody's got to take a blame fire. And Leslie <laughs> Frazier was gonna take the hit as the D coordinator. Like, well, I mean, somebody's got to go. I mean, that's what the you know what did piss me off did. about that game though. What like Ken Dorsey taking interviews on Saturday. For head coaching jobs, and then come out and lay in that dud with his offense on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Um, who just turned down interviews? Was D'Amico it Ryan's Ryan's? Turn, He didn't. He tur- he took two of them Post- and turned down Arizona and Indianapolis because he was like, "I'm never going there anymore." Anyway. Okay, good, good. <laughs> he made the smart move. Yeah. So uh, then we're gonna talk about San Francisco. Dallas sucks. That game sucked. Dallas sucks. I, that game sucked too. Dallas sucks. So boring. They do suck. Dallas sucks. We okay. always. Knew I that. just needed you to concur with me before I stop oh, saying I know. Dallas sucks. They suck. Michael Parsons talks all this shit, doesn't oh, do anything, but oh they still God. talk shit after the game. Mike is talking trash. Diggs is talking trash. Like the, the lost. The, <laughs> let me go. He says, sorry, I'm going to be in the Pro Bowl, guys. Like, yeah, hey, that nobody means, cares. <laughs> nobody cares. I hope there's no Eagles in the Pro Bowl because that means we're playing after the Pro Bowl. Yeah. So Jerry Jones did not do his radio show. Canceled it. Yesterday or today. Sean Payton sent him that blank check, like, hey, yeah, what's up? I mean, then the, where where is it at? Oh, uh, did they take it down? They had a tweet after the game. Oh, where they shredded Dak? Yes. Who? Yeah, they took it down. If you run the social media for a team, you can't do shit like that. If you run the social media for a team, I bet you ran it by Jerry Jones. <laughs> I you bet you Jerry, ran, Oh, one, Jerry ordered the code red? Co- no. And the fact that he didn't come on his radio show the next day, I know guarantee. Jerry Jones picks the toilet paper in that building. <laughs> so I know for a fact. And the tweet didn't just go up for five minutes and come down. Mm, it stayed. It just went away today because it was up there yeah. yesterday all day. Everybody's reporting on it. It did not go away. It just went away today. So Jerry must be getting ready to go talk. And then he'll say, oh, my social media person did whatever. I think Jerry Jones tweeted that out or his son did it. <laughs> Jerry or his son did that tweet because it was an embarrassing loss for them. They should not have lost to the 49ers at all. Prescott like, was so bad. It, he was so he was Hold scared. Up. Replay that one again. 
and yeah. watch the left of the screen. Watch T. Y. Hilton running up the left side of the screen on that. Oh play. yeah, he was he was it's running a touchdown. free. Watch running Look. free. Boom! Right there. Right, it's just a touchdown. right over the top. Right, right up, like, like <laughs> and that was an easier throw. But he yes. couldn't stop looking at CD Lamb. Oh, he threw everything. To see, all his completions were to the flat. Yeah, I mean, I don't care about Charles Little Huddle. I'm just looking at these plays. So and and they had Purdy on lockdown Rattled too. They he had him all over oh, the place. They had him on lockdown. You know they're going to show this oh, play the here. Play. Why doesn't Diggs like Kittle up here? Why? Like, <laughs> you took this, and again, you're out here tweeting, talking right. stuff, bro. You took the softest angle in America. If that. He did not want the smoke. He did not. He didn't want it. He, exactly. He right. was scared to death because Kittle hits back. Yeah. But I tell you what, if that was Jenkins, who I don't even like, or Brian Dawkins, oh. or I'll take Blankenship. Blankenship would throw his back out yes. to explode <laughs> on him right there because he's juggling the ball and he has no momentum to stop you. No, Blow man. him up. And that catch make, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. If anything, if they want to give him the catch, then he's fumbling it because right. there's no way in the world he's running free with his arms extended that he can even protect himself at all. Destroy him. For all that, I'd rather you fucking kill him take and take the penalty. Yarder. Yeah, just set the tone. Put, though. Yeah, but put the hit on him. Yep. It's 9 9. And again, Pollard went down. I Broken fully leg, understand man. that. Broke his leg. Uh, th- that, and, gosh. Free agent year, too. Oh, free agent year. It, he, the, the Cowboys aren't signing back. I was just talking to Kennedy because, uh, you know, he's a Cowboy fan. They finally, should. They finally he's the best player. No, they <laughs> should not. They should absolutely not. You do not resign a, a running back, and you don't resign an injured running back. You get rid of Dak. You get rid of him. <laughs> you trade two running – I mean, you draft two running backs, and you draft a wide receiver, and then you get Sean Payton, and hopefully he can fix Dak. And if he can't fix Dak, trade him to wherever Aaron Rodgers doesn't get traded to. What? How about trading him for Aaron Rodgers? No, they won't no. do it. No, don't. <laughs> so I just got done telling him. He said the same thing. He said, we're going to get Aaron Rodgers. I'm like, yeah, I know. the Green Bay organization, I, I – Did you see it, the report today about them? What about it? They will not trade him to the NFC, what, they said. Uh, so again, why? But you, why? But again, so you didn't see. So you had a report. I didn't yeah, have a report. Schefter had it. I, okay, Schefter had a report. I, okay, yeah. I don't care who had a report. I had the internal knowledge of life. Okay, <laughs> oh. I, I can show you the text. I just got them telling him there's no way in the world they're going to trade him to the FC. They had that because I know because they did it with um, Far. Everybody wanted Far. They're like, you can go fuck yourself in the AFC anywhere you want to, but we will not have to see you or see you run through the playoffs in our division. And come I through can't here. imagine. They won't allow it. Who you can trade for and messing up your own leverage in a trade. That's you, so wild to but me. But here's the thing. <laughs> Green Bay has fans for ownership. They don't yeah, have yeah, anyone right. to answer to. I'm talking about for me personally. Uh, uh, and I'm talking, to, that's yeah. what I'm saying. For me personally, <laughs> they don't have a me personally. Right. They don't have a Jerry Jones. They don't have one dude who's like, yo, I'm not going to screw myself over. They're like the fandom. The fandom yeah. says, you want to leave? Okay, go fuck yourself. We're not going to help you. Go to the Jets. He is going to go to the he Jets. He is going to go to the Jets. And the Jets I, will be good. The only other place he might go other than the Jets is the Titans. Oh, I can see that. I can see him going to the Tennessee Titans. But and they he got will, the same receiver issues there that he's always hated. He, but they will get him receivers. Mm-hmm. They will get him receivers. They already killed you their— You think Vegas? They're, they're, if I was him, I would not go to Vegas. I wouldn't want Vegas either. Unless Jake I don't was, think Brady should go to Vegas either. Well, their defense is trash. I, they got a running the game. trash. I mean, but that's a whole other <laughs> or, or thing, but the, we're, we're not— Yeah, the, yes. Like, but— um. They have a team in Las Vegas and they can't afford to do things. Uh, this 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 guy right here. Oh, mind you. So I rewatched this game just to give myself yeah. some information. Uh-huh. Bosa only takes seventy percent of the snaps and he is gassed. Yeah. Excuse me. He is gassed at the end of every quarter. He's on the sideline, and I, when I say gassed, he looks like he is out of shape, sucking wind. He's got like two burst plays out. Yeah, he's got to go out. Two yeah. burst plays out. Like the drive where they were. In the hurry up, I'm like, yo, you should have been doing this when he was out h- half the game because yeah. he, he, one, he didn't even want to come back in. You could see in his eyes, he did not want to come back in. He's like, <laughs> which is crazy. So, uh, yeah, it is crazy. Uh, Fred Warner, yeah, that guy's a beast. He's a beast. Now here's the play you're talking about. The annexation of Puerto Rico. Why would you run this play? And why did the head coach say that's not how he drew it? Up I need to not know. Not to how play. they drew it up. How did they draw it up? Well, that's my question. I'm like, you're the head coach. What like, do you mean? <laughs> that's not what was supposed to happen. And that's not what you meant for it to be. You're the head coach. You know what I want to see? What? So that play, obviously, just like the uh, Philly Philly play came from somewhere, right? Like, it's not an original drawn up play. Somebody did it somewhere. And you're like, oh, we should put that deep in the playbook. That's a college play. I've seen but that I want to see this one, the real play. 
Like, how work? did it work? Right? Okay. Like, and nobody's got it. There's yeah. nothing. Yeah. That, that play, I, I haven't seen it. First off, I don't understand why you have offensive linemen out to the right and the left. I get it. You want to do the con with it, but leave one of them to snap the ball. Yeah. What's the point of putting Zeke yeah. in the middle of the field? Yeah. He's not even that good of a pass blocker. He's not. And and he's bad now. He's terrible now. They were talking about it on the Chris Long, the Greenlight podcast. And they're like, when they put those type of plays and it's always at the end of practice and when they're going over them, you're out there dicking around. Like, you're yeah. not really taking it serious because it's a stupid play. So you're like, man, we're never going to run this play. Yeah. And then you're out there like, hold up. What's going on? So finally, let's get to it. The Philadelphia Eagles versus the Giants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hmm? Uh, oh, hmm? The 49ers got a problem on their hands, just to preemphasize that, because we didn't say who we thought was going to win. We're just going to talk about that. Okay. Uh-huh. But the Giants, they are who we thought they were. We don't need to really talk about it, but I will say this. That was a clinic, and anybody who paid $1,500 to go see a clinic summer practice squad game, I feel so <laughs> sorry for you. That literally looked like the practice games that you get to pay $10 for, yes. and you just get to see the offensive line manhandle and molly wop. We need that clip of the Giants fans from last week talking about they want the Eagles. Yeah, yeah I'm not got all of it. Yeah, <laughs> as, you, as you can see, I've only brought up the pages of the winning team. Yeah. So I, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm being respectful for those who won. So I'm not even going to give the other guys any kind of shine on their side to play any kind of hits or highlights. But I will say this about Philadelphia one, oh my God, it felt so good to beat them. Oh, that game was amazing to watch. What oh, a great watch, man. And, 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 and it was boring, too. Like yes. You talk about how the, 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 the San Francisco game was boring. At least they were close. And I you figured one who was going to mess up where, who was going to do what. What moment did you have? Right after Smith dropped that third down ball and the Giants went down and scored, it was like, huh. Then they were like, never mind. I'll just be a silly. There's no, yeah. I know. It was just like, gosh. oh, gosh. I'm I like, just had a Philly fan moment for a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's no way in the world they could give up 21 <laughs> points. Like, it, it's just, it's a, oh, It was God. just so weird to see Devontae drop that ball and yeah, turn it down. It, it happens. Oh, yeah. It, it happens. And it, you know, it is, is the Boston Scott Invitational. I hope you had that on your parlay. You know what I mean? That was the easiest money ever. And I love how the Eagles play that game, too. They're like, you want uh, the Boston Scott touchdown? Yeah. Let's here, do it. let's go. You got it. You get it late no matter what, even if we're blowing them out. Oh, he's got it. That's a great angle. Snooker. Perfect throw, too. And, he turns it into a score from 16. and we talked about this a million times in our lifetime and a million times between us two. I love Zach Ertz. Yep. I but he ain't Zach scoring Ertz. that. He's not scoring that. He, if he He's got falling touched, on that one. he falls. <laughs> and just know, yeah, exact to have Goddard. Goddard yep. has just surpassed him and he's better because he catches the ball, but he gets yards, right? He gets yak. And that's just so sexy. And I appreciate it. Now, let me tell you how perfect the Philadelphia Eagles are. The Eagles are so perfect because we are now healthy. Uh, 22 out of 22 starters will be playing next week. Cause Maddox Maddox is back officially? Maddox is back has been uh, listed as back for next week. So, there's nothing to talk about besides the fact that the national media hates us and everybody doesn't like us and nobody cares and all that kind of stuff. It's so weird. Everybody just wants to talk about Daniel Jones and blah, 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 and the Giants and blah, blah, blah. Now they're all like, oh, we're sorry, Eagles fans, because either way you get pub, right? Mm-hmm. We're a real sports town. So we click on you to tell you that we hate you and you <laughs> suck. We click on you to watch you apologize and eat crow. So either way, they're getting free clicks from Philadelphia. But you know how bad of a perfectly good, boring team this is? This is what has the national world outraged. The coach getting hyped. The coach <laughs> giving the uh, Kool Aid Man nod, yeah. <laughs> like he just busted through the door, like hey, <laughs> like he's just like everybody is so mad about this. Stop being cocky. And yeah, hey, I've seen Sean McVay <laughs> run a four point yeah. two sprint up the sidelines. He pays a man who his literal job is to keep him from screaming and yelling things on the sideline. The get-back coach. The, the get-back coach. He <laughs> pays a guy $1,500 a week to literally pull him off the line. But this is a problem for people because Nick Sirianni is jumping up and down and chest bumping people and you doing all kinds of stuff. told him? You know what he told him? What he I told know what him. the fuck I'm doing. Just like he told that ref. I'm allowed to be down here. <laughs> I'm allowed to be down here. The worst part and of so, Sirianni's day was he spit on himself early well, in the game by accident. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't even looking at her because it didn't even matter to me like Happens that. to the best of us. So, <laughs> you know, uh, it was just a perfect uh, demolition. The greatest coach in the world yeah. going for it on fourth and eight in the first Man, quarter. I, I, I should have listened to the guy who called this on his parlay. He said he guaranteed this pick right here. And oh, if he, he doesn't trip, that's he, a six. And he texted me, too. He was like, he's like, I told you. Did you listen to me? And I did hear him say it, but I didn't put it in there. But I should have. Look at this. Look at this. One arm. Get, oh. get out of here. And he's 93 years old. Again, I don't know personal stuff and about Kelsey. a lot. 
I know Travis is out here uh, uh, pimping and slimping, and yeah. he ain't got no lady right now. He got multiple. Ladies. I know what he's doing, but I, <laughs> I know he needs to go out there. They need to have kids. They Jason need to have kids. kids. Jason got, got kids. Daughters. Okay, do, 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 have more. Of them. Have more. <laughs> Have more daughters are good too because yep. daughters can reproduce the line too. Like, but uh, just have more Did kids. Did you see the like, one of his daughters the next day singing the uh, yeah Eagles fight song? Yep. Um, so Jalen you know, looked good. He looked good. Too much. Designed runs, protected himself. He, I, I feel like there was the the second run of the game. He directly ran into contact and took two hits on purpose. Yeah, like yo, I'm good, bro. It don't matter know what's what funny you do. Afterwards, still the media, they're like, he looked a little timid out there sliding because yeah. he's protected himself. Like, yeah, come but on. But that's man. the problem with the national media. They don't watch every game. They don't know that right. he's protected. He's not Josh Allen in every week. Right. He slides. He doesn't he protect- win it. near the goal line. He's full go. Yes, but he protects himself better than any quarterback I've seen in a long time. That's a moving Russ quarterback. was the other one that used to protect himself. Yeah, that good. but. Russ would just get out of bounds. I don't know yeah. how Russ was so fast. Like I, Russ didn't, he wasn't even like I don't remember Russ sliding as much as right. Jalen did. Baseball player, but so he, he can slide. Yes, but he can slide. But he would just get out of he would just whoop whoop and yep. be out of bounds. Like, <laughs> like he would dang. just yeah like oh, I almost had him. And Kenneth so, Gainwell. Mm, mm, ooh, he there was muscling go. them boys out yeah, there. He got his hundred yards. It's like no. It was just a good game. It was a good game. Uh, very appreciative. The national uh, look. These guys out here feeling they so. Want to see me do it again? <laughs> You want to see yep. me do it again? <laughs> yep. You want to see me do it again? 268 yards rushing. Yeah. They gave it to the Giants D-line, which was supposed to be their strength because they got those guys back now. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, Lane Johnson, by the way, on the hurt groin, abdominal, core, whatever, I, I was an saw, absolute monster. I only saw him like wince like one time. It looked like he was going to celebrate the one time. And he was like, oh, yeah. forgot about that for a second. Yeah, and then I, I saw Maialata on the Jalen Hurts run. He grabbed his arm, and I was it about was to weird. freak out. Like He, he might have got stunted, like yeah. you know, where somebody just jams yeah. you, and then it just like, I yeah, don't know. because he didn't move on that play. No. He just kind of stood yeah, there. And he, you see him holding his arm. He's like, ah, oh, like you can see he was yeah. in pain. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no. And then and it, nothing happened from it. So. Earlier in the game, there was a – Gainwell run, I think, and as he flipped through, then Kelsey went limping out after they mm-hmm. collided, and I'm like, yep. oh yep. no! But he, man, again, have way, more let's ba- talk about this. Have in more babies, Kelsey's. Game. Have more babies. Gardner Minshew played. Yeah, we had the backups yeah. in. Yeah, like yeah. it was a bowl I'll game against some Give scrub team. <laughs> yeah, throw me that baby. <laughs> oh. I signed my first baby. Did you just sign it? Name? Signed it. My name on the forehead, and then did go birds on the cheek. And I hope personally this turns into a thing. I would love to sign more babies. Keep the line out the door, bro. Bring the baby. We need to get them on our I'll podcast. Sign a baby. Right? Give me a baby. <laughs> yeah. We go on there's like yes. That would be a huge get. Yeah, we go um, on there's like yes. I mean, <laughs> just come over here and sign this baby. <laughs> told, see, everybody, everybody needs to be having babies. They need to have more babies. Um, Yo, I did think watching that game, Jordan Davis was noticeable in that game. Jor- <laughs> he was collapsing the pocket up the middle. Jordan Davis is always noticeable. It's just sad that he's not going to be your sack guy because uh, his job. That's jo- not the position, right. His job is not, you know, because somebody tried to tell me, they're like, oh, Jordan Davis doesn't do anything. And I'm like, oh, that's so, not true so, at all. So right. do you watch the interior of the line? Because I know right. you don't. You watch the ball, you watch the running back, you watch the wide receivers, you watch the quarterback, you don't, but you don't watch the interior. You see the end event of getting sacked, but you don't see the center of the line being disrupted. Right. And sometimes two men getting blown back because that's him. Right. So as he learns, he'll uh, turn into a better pass rusher like Dexter Lawrence from the Giants or yeah. Wilkins from Miami, who are both big D tackles at Clemson. Yeah. So he'll learn that stuff. But in the meantime, he still dominates in the middle like that. And the injury derailed him from Slowed being in full shape. Yes. And because Hassan Reddick. <laughs> yeah. Hassan Reddick is the truth. That's one of the best signings the Eagles have ever had. Hassan Reddick yeah. here. We got the dub. One he was more. dominant in Make that sure game. Y'all out. Louder than y'all was today. Let's go. Five was five. Go birds. Sound right here. So yeah, they're gonna be loud. Don't worry about it. So I will tell you, uh, talking about the Sirianni thing. No coach <laughs> finds the camera more than Nick Sirianni, though. Man, well, he knows. <laughs> he knows again. Sean McVay does. Sean McVay well, does. I'm not mad at it. Sean McVay it. does. And now every other, he's so sexy. He's not yeah. caring. He's not because he gets a lot of screen time. Nick gets screen time being Cause. goofy. Yeah. <laughs> like just you know again they're jump. such college bros him and Spikeman as Gronk called yeah, him Spikeman oh, <laughs> national media good job Gronk yeah, I Gronk's love Gronk Gronk's forms. funny yeah so well he was close enough I mean close yeah, enough yeah Spikeman man it's Spikeman, better anyway actually yeah Spikeman <laughs> Spikeman all of them but uh so Nick, well, what am I about to say that I can't stand a Nick Sirianni said uh that he said what yeah. after the game yeah oh about Gannon getting criticized nope no give a shit about that uh, I don't know what 
Why did he bring up Michael Jordan? Oh, I forgot about that. Why did he bring up Michael yeah. Jordan? <laughs> like, now, anybody who doesn't know, I hate I Michael Jordan. Yes. He's not my goat, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But even outside of that universe of where Le, Le, right. he's just not my goat, he's not my guy. I don't like him as a human being, individual, and or player. Right. He's a six-time champion. Yes. Multiple MVP. I don't one think of the he was greatest. Them that way, though. It doesn't the context, it but I still think don't say the name. It doesn't matter. I know. Once you br- now it's hey, out there. Hey, I did porn one time. No matter what you say after that, <laughs> even if it was a little porn, it was a home Mike porn. It, 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 exactly. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what kind of porn you've done. Once you said I did porn one time, nobody I'm hears the sure one if time this is a revelation, a confession. Yeah. What's I mean, going on here? <laughs> I'm just saying that, that's what it's equivalent to. Once you bring that worm out, that is a Michael Jordan. It's not a worm. It was cold. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I just can't stand it. I didn't like it. I don't like yeah, it. No. Don't do it. Uh, and again, I know that he got hurts. Hype. Loves Jordan. And that's why he That's did it why, because it's just in his mind. He, you know, and not for nothing, he's one of the worst press conference speakers I've ever had in my rambles. life. He's, <laughs> he is the worst ever at speaking anything out loud to people. He, he, they tried to train him, but it doesn't work. But again, he's better than he was, but he oh, still goes yeah. too low. What? Just don't bring up Jordan. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? We already had the Kobe thing. Job ain't done. You know, Kobe shirts. And he's he wearing Jordan shirts. He tried to Iverson first, by the way. I know. He was like, he didn't well, know the position he, he asked. He's like, what, what, he's like, what position is the p- point yeah. guard? He's like, and somebody said Mo Cheeks, which like, yeah, is my, sure. Mo Cheeks yeah. is my dad favorite player. Right. So that did make me happy as far as well, pandering goes. To somebody pander would, king. Somebody would throw out <laughs> Mo Cheeks. So thank you forever. Whatever reporter said Mo Cheeks as the greatest sixer point guard, because that's what my dad would say. Uh, so yeah, that that's what I didn't like, and uh, other than that, we're good to go. Team vibing, yeah. team vibing. Oh, there the goes big Davis. <laughs> uh, oh, he moving pretty good cool for a big boy. Oh, he putting it in. Um, so let's just wrap it up. AJ talk. still cranky on the bench. Oh man, he, he he got hurt. He didn't get his catches. He's always open. He's just mad. Yeah, it's it's, it's cool. I like him being mad. I want I want him fired up. He scores first next week. Uh, yeah, I, I want him fired. Up. It's the same thing. It's happened all year. Devontae gets love, doesn't get love. Yeah. Next, da, 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 da. And that's what I like. I like you not knowing where we're coming from. If one person's shining, the other person's bringing. I mean, he's getting double teamed. What more do you want? Right. Thanks for taking the double team so it keeps other guys open. And Good. he blocked on Devontae's touchdown like a. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he ran him like a Mack truck. So the 49ers are coming in here. Uh, who do you give the edge to on defense? Uh, I think the Eagles have the better defensive line and the better secondary, but they're weaker at the linebacker and safety position. So, so I'm going to go Eagles. I'll say Eagles, too. You're absolutely right about that. Offensive line, it's Eagles. the Eagles. The offensive talent, it is the Eagles. But quarterback, it's the Eagles by a lot. Quarterback, it's the Eagles by a lot. Special teams is a wash. They're running both, back is the Niners. Okay. The running back is the Niners. Um, but Tight McCaffrey's, my, my, McCaffrey's dinged up. McCaffrey's dinged up. So yeah. the calf is dinged up. And he only had 23 yards, and I... And it's in Philly. Coaching. This was a contentious thing I had to talk about today. Coaching. Who do you give the nod to coaching to? Game management or game script? Coaching. I actually think Sirianni's the better coach. He is not. I think Shanahan is not that good of a coach. I think he's overrated as could be. Okay, so we talk about Josh. He is a horrible game manager. So, oh, God, this kills me. Because I I hate having to defend someone else that I know... I want to beat. We're Actually, going it's to be close. By the way, it's not a. So here, it's the same thing that I started this off with. I, I kind of lollygagged you. Oh, you're the reason that. I did. The <laughs> reason that Doug Peterson, Mister Ice Cream himself, is better than Nick is because he got to a Super Bowl. He won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But even getting to a Super Bowl is better. Getting to yes, multiple sir. championship conferences is better. Shanahan not only has been there as a, as a coordinator, he's been there as a head coach. Yes, he's lost the second I'm time. I'm worried about that. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying experience right. of getting to the big That's game. Right. And Andy Reid knocking on the door all the time at the championship game. He has that experience. Our coach does not. He is green when it comes to that. It is a big-time moment and big-time place. And we've seen this coaching staff be stupid and run, 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 or wait, pass, 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 pass. pass. So that is what I'm saying. And I'm also doubling down on he's a better coach because he comes from the Shanahan tree of life. Okay, (laughs) He's a horrible game manager. he's, He's a horrible game manager. But again, his horrible game management seems to come in the biggest game with the most pressure. Right. So I would say Super Bowl pressure, Still matters. he can't <laughs> handle it. I'm just right. saying. That's fair. In the Super Bowl, he can't handle it. But him getting to the Super Bowl, 
with different quarterbacks mm -hmm. and different. Uh, again, I mean, they're winning with a third string quarterback. So. And, and, and and that's my point about the coaching. People have been arguing me all day. You've had you had the best statement that everybody keeps saying the same thing. He's lost games, but he's a better coach than Nick Sirianni. Way better because game Because of his resume. Yeah. Now again. And D'Amico's a better D coordinator. Yes. Because of his resume. Now, all that being said, the Eagles are going to win this game. Yes. Because m by me saying that they're the better coaching staff doesn't mean that they're the best coaching staff left in the playoffs. It doesn't mean right. that my head coach is level six out of the last four. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I say that it goes Andy Reid, and I'm even going to put – uh, the Bengals. I don't know what the Bengals are doing over there. <laughs> Zach Taylor. I, yeah, I don't know what the Bengals are doing over there. But my God, they just seem like they've got it together. So I, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm going to put Andy Reid. Remember when he got Bengals. hired, by the way, the Bengals coach? Oh, my God. He was McVay's the yes. QB coach. And everyone was yeah. like, so if you just work at the Rams, you get a job. The Bengals are so stupid. Man. And he's like, hey, we're about to go back to the Super Man. Bowl. What's up? White white jobs matter. But <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I thought the same thing, too, but he's a hell of a coach. Yeah. So then I, I'll put I'll put Shanahan, like, underneath them, because, again, game management yeah, and, and things like that. And I'm, putting Nick, and I'm putting Nick there. Like, I, I'd say if, if, if uh, he's 15% better than Nick. And Nick That's beating him could leapfrog him by fifteen to fifty percent is where my point is. Yeah. So I, I, we're That's very fair. close. Yeah. It's just like picking the, the defense. Their defense is better in the safety, better in the linebacker, but we're so much better on the defensive line mm -hmm. that you give it to us. And our secondary uh, corners have been the best tandem, so you give it to us. Right. They that's have all one I'm good saying. Corner. And one of the San Fran D linemen got arrested last night. Yes, and that's got to be on their mind. He's They've still going to play, though. Oh, yeah, 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 but, but it doesn't it's matter. It's, it's a distraction. It's still a distraction. It's still on your mind. You lost a day of travel. You lost a day of play. And Come four, out here to the link. Yes. Oh, your heart's going to sink. For the life sink. of me, I cannot see a third string rookie quarterback Winning this game on the road. If we lose this game, mm -hmm. which is not how I feel about the Super Bowl, right? But if we lose this game, I will feel like a Cowboys fan. That's right. See, I felt that one about last week's game. Oh, well, I was worried about that last week. If that had I, happened, then I, it would have ruined the whole damn season. My 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 mind had one million percent no worries about that game whatsoever. I was. Enjoying myself all week. I had a hard on like nobody could believe because I just knew on my mind we were going to be that one? Good. Is this when you were doing the porn? This is definitely when I was doing the porn. You like that callback? <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? Going I'm, people are going to be Googling me now. They're going to be Googling. They're going to be Googling. They're going to be trying to find my porn. My sex tape is out there. There's only one time, though. You see what I'm saying? There's only one time. But um, I tried. It was just a thumbnail. <laughs> hey, that's funny. Um, so we're going to win this game. We have to win this game. Eagles I, defensive touchdown guaranteed. Guaranteed? Guaranteed. Purdy's going to. Purdy, Purdy has not felt pressure like this, and he hasn't had to play in a situation where he couldn't hear himself breathe. Right. And that's what's going to happen when he comes to Philadelphia. And if they, if the Eagles are able to get to an early lead, it's a wrap. Then it's just going to snowball. It's a wrap. Um, so as you can see up here, I got the uh, – we were just going over to Instagram. Uh, Black Gritty on Instagram and TikTok, and Jason is – Doing a, the yeoman's work over at Facebook, just posting all kinds of breaking news and random news and fun news. That Bettis uh, pic that you put up there with the most random one, right? stat in the yeah. world. I'm not even going to tell you what the stat is. Just go sign was. up for our Facebook page. I know, oh, I know what it is. I don't <laughs> yeah. want to tell him that. I want people to go look. That's my look type like, of day at the at man, work, man. This guy, this <laughs> is the, he put up a random stat. That is the most random stat in NFL history for sure. Guaranteed He's like, I almost win. broke a sweat today. <laughs> Any trivia question, that's like got to be one of the best stats I've ever seen in my life. Um, so follow us on the internet, uh, and we will maybe talk and be friends and hang out and live yeah. the dream. Comment. If you, if tell you us what's up. Yeah, tell yeah, us what's good. Yeah. I don't know. That, that's the big thing. I, yeah. I know you're watching. If you've been made this far, do one of those things. Yeah. And uh, Dallas sucks. Mm -hmm. The Giants cried about Pizza Hut pizza like losers. I hope they enjoyed those cold showers. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm leaving up the Michael Jordan thing up here. He got my Superman shirt because we're about to go to the Super Bowl. That's right. Hey, I like that. I like that. You know what I mean? I, and uh, Superman's my jam always and forever. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a good week. It's going to be a great weekend. I'm super excited about it. This is the first time I'm healthily nervous, and I yeah. like feeling that way. I like. I feel like it's going to be a great game. And uh, we're going to come out on top because we're at home and we're the better team and we've been better all year long. All season long. And we're going to do pretty good. See you next week when we're talking about the...
Super Bowl. Super Bowl. It better be that way. Oh my god, it better be that way. All right, we're <laughs> uh, out. <laughs>